voice diary on June 19. The topic is 45 sentences to learn English easily. I've been teaching. I had teaching uh, English in for um, 10 years. And then um, at the time I researched about the pattern of English as a written language or spoken languages. English, what is English? English is one of the languages. Also, it has a patterns of many units and then about the group. For example, uh, most of the words from the noun and then we express nouns. And then the English have a whole pattern of nouns. And also English has a uniquely and specific tenses. It has tense from basically and three basic present and future and past and also uh, with the combination of uh, continuous uh, and perfect uh, this com perfect and continuous uh, as the uh, same so and uh, these are uh, and simple uh, these uh, make a 12 tenses uh, pattern of in English. So, and then when we study English, well, we use English. When we study English, while we use English, we use the tenses. Tenses is very important. Unlikely uh, other languages, and then uh, the tenses are uniquely in English is very strong part. I think uh, Latin, the language of Latin or uh, Spanish also has, uh, have a similar uh, pattern of uh, these uh, concrete tenses about but, uh, it's a uh, linguistically and unique uh, phenomenon. And also the simply, and uh, we go for the verb patterns. Verb pattern is very important. Verb is uh, when we express the verb, English has many idioms. And also the be bubble with some expression and adjective and preposition also can be used to. And also the about verb pattern is some verb and then objective and preposition. This pattern also is an important part. And after then we talk about phrase and flowers and compound the sentence. The phrase is uh, about and uh, for example the noun and the pattern of uh, describing pattern because uh, it uh, expressed with the prepositional uh, phrase and to infinity or gerund and that kind of pattern can be described. Also, the with the sentence is a compound, a complex uh, sentence in grammar, and then they can use it. Uh, also, about an equality as uh, also can be used with that. Uh, relative pronoun is also can be used as a describing pattern of that. Also, uh, last thing you know, we talk about adverb. Adverbial form is a very important part with adverb and simply, and then um, the adverbial phrases is uh, also can be used with the prepositional pattern to infinity or some continuous um, situation in the present uh, past. And then with the conjunction, conjunction by the term of some use of conjunction, uh, lots of words like uh, um, as, when, while, some these words uh, can make bring together, if and then this also. If we know about the pattern and then in grammar, in English, and then we do 45 sentences, specifically, I can divide it in six, six uh, uh, patterns. 
will hear. I say a noun, pencil, box, and noun, pencil, box, and also the adverbial, and then the um, describing nouns, and adverbial, what else? And then I forgot. I don't. I don't use it so for many times of well, with the forty-five sentence, uh, not review about it, and then so um, not second sentences. Anyway, <clears throat> um, these are uh, 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 if we know all these patterns, and then uh, I use I use these patterns when I say in English. And then um, this is a work because uh, with this help of uh, uh, 45 sentences, I can speak uh, anyway, the easy to express uh, uh, in terms of uh, some sentence patterns. So, and then uh, I practice so after uh, uh, voice diary, I talk, uh, and then when I get the feedback from AI, and then I understand about AI also, uh, give feedbacks uh, in terms of uh, that kind of pattern. I'll show you about that and then uh, with AI and then, and then what AI gives and then I'll try to uh, figure out and simply and then how much the 45 sentence can be used in the sentence. So I, After feedback, I'll check out uh, the feedback and then how much the four five sentence can be used in the feedback. I, the problem, uh, what I talk, uh, I use the four five sentence is uh, easy, but uh, the spoken language is not based on written language in Grammarly. Uh, I think it's not perfect and also without a period mark and without paragraph is confused to understand. Oh, it gives a period mark. And then anyway, something, and then uh, I'll check out about the code five sentences from feedback from AI. Then and we can figure out more about what I'm talking. And uh, let's do it. Now I copy what I'm talking about, 45 sentences, two pages, only two pages, okay, two pages, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'll copy them. 
and then the view from feedback. Okay, hope oh, for English from the feedback. Um, first, uh, I check out uh, about the noun form here, and only in English, only noun form has uh, four patterns, only four patterns, without article, and then plural. And then plural, and also with the dog, the article with the article, the dog. and also the o or uh, um. When I, we use uh, uh, the noun, we should keep the these these pattern about English ears, the pattern or languages. So if we use uh, these uh, properly with the uh, noun, and then uh, all of the noun can be used like that, the, the plural with the article um, or on or different article, the, and then just without, uh, for example, this Latin uh, or Spanish, it's without any article. The noun itself used with the common common noun, and then we if we use the noun, uh, uh, most of nouns can be used for for it's very important. And also I talk about the tense, and then uh, any language have a tense. The form of the tense is uh, uh, very important, and then and these are tense from that. And uh, tense are very important. And then in English, there are 12 tenses here, yeah, 12 tenses. I'm not sure uh, much more. And then there are 12 sentences uh, we understand about uh, this is a present tense. And in fact, we say that uh, tense by doing that, and we understand about how you use uh, tense and then uh, with, with some verb and then in grammar. That is a very important one and uh, this. And also the about now and uh, when we are using about uh, verb form and then for example, I jump to the one paragraph and then here uh, breakdown, what makes breakdown into Anyway, the pattern of the verb forms here and break down English into uh, both part second segments. Uh, these are kind of verb form. And also you focus on is the idiom in English can frequently use it. And the normal just uh, review and define is a simple verb. And then in English it has verb patterns and then it's a uh, and many many facts, and also now I talk about uh, describing now. This is a very important part. For example, the learning process and then for the process and then we use learning process and then um, it describe some uh, the noun and also how to describe uh, and the pattern of English, English patterns, the same of English uh, prepositional phrase, uh, it describes patterns. So, and then um, we can, with the help of AI tools, and then uh, the help, what help of AI tools, this also describing from something. And then we can, uh, find some describing, and then also uh, I'll review about now and then uh, noun, tense, verb, 
and uh, describing nouns and, and adverbial form is uh, for example uh, the action effectively this is uh, uh, adverbial forms uh, with this and effectively and then in the sentence uh, and then I can see um, uh, in constructing sentences. This pattern has in constructing sentence. These are uh, adverbial forms and with a prepositional phrase, and then we can use this uh, with adverbial pattern. And unlike uh, some uh, big code, it's crucial, big code is, uh, and they fly a signal below in English. The because is a conjunction. Uh, this is a pattern also the adverbial patterns is so we uh, know about these patterns and then uh we understand about these pattern. I think one more thing and then maybe this about noun itself, for example, same as sign um Okay, then I'm, I just say about the forty-five sentence, and then I read this. I've been teaching English for 10 years during this time. I've been studying the pattern of both written and spoken English. So what is English? English is a language with a pattern composed of many units, and these can be Look in various ways. For example, most words are noun and we express nouns in different contexts. English has a complete pattern of noun usage as well as specific tenses. There, uh, there are three basic tenses in English present, past, and future. These tenses can combine with the continuous and perfect aspect to form continuous and perfect tenses. And uh, understanding these tenses is crucial because unlike some other languages, they play a significant role in English. Languages like Latin or Spanish have a similar grammatical pattern, such as uh, declension and conjugation. What is a declension and conjugation? Conjugation. However, English also have many idiomatic expressions and specific use for adjective, preposition, and conjunction. For instance, English employ in phrase and prose in various ways to form profound and complex sentences. A phrase might include a noun phrase, which is described as something using prepositional phrases, infinitives, or a gerund. These patterns help in constructing sentences, whether they are simple or compound, They're knowing how to use phrases, clause, and conjunctions, such as and, but, or when, why. It is essential for combining ideas smoothly in English. In my teaching, I often break down English into 45 second segments to make learning easier. I focus on nouns, verb, adjectives, and uh, adverbs, discussing how to describe nouns and action effectively. This, uh, this method uh, simplifies the learning process and helps us transgress the patterns of uh, English quickly. After practicing these patterns, I review and define my approach based on feedback often with the help of AI tool. These tools provide valuable insight, allowing me to improve my teaching method continuously. By using AI feedback, I can see how well uh, the 45 second patterns work and make necessary adjustments. In conclusion, understanding and practicing the basic pattern of English, grammar and sentence structure, even in small, Manageable segments can significantly enhance your language skills. Let's continue exploring these patterns together and make learning English an enjoyable and straightforward experience. Here's a summary of the revised text in 12 sentences. I've been teaching English for 10 years and have studied this pattern in both written and spoken forms. English is composed of various units and groups with nouns being a primary component. The language has specific tenses, present, past, and future, which can combine with the continuous and perfect aspects. Uh, understanding tenses is uh, crucial because they play a significant role in English languages like Latin or Spanish, have similar grammatical patterns to 
but English also has many idiomatic expressions. English utilizes phrases and clauses to form a compound and complex sentence. A phrase a phrases might include a noun phrase with a prepositional phrase, infinitive or general. Knowing how to use phrases, clause, and conjunction is essential for smooth sentence construction. I often break down English into four to five second segments to simplify learning. I focus on noun, verb, adjective, and adverb to discuss in effective ways to discard noun on action. This method helps the students to grasp English patterns quickly. And using AI tools for feedback allows me to continuously improve my teaching method. By practicing and defining these patterns within small segments, students can enhance their skill, English skill. Let's continue exploring these patterns to make learning English usable and straightforward. Go for King Bit. Then, when the team swap, Neki Jongo, Nai, Momoi, Tim, Tang Sao. อ่าบ่มวยนําเอาเป็นพบเชิงแบบเชิงอันเชียงอ่าตัวดาใหญ่เชียงอันจงมุมนําจงตัวอย่างในตัวดานิ้นถือกับตัวมุมตัวตาเ
cho ngày thứ gì à con chẳng còn tắt tôi đã dạy cái ngành trong một mình làm và ta nhìn các mô hình của các chiến anh biết và ngồi cái ngành cô dẫn thử là tan phản trên và các trí cụ thể không phải chỗ quan trọng cô và khi cô ban là hiện tại quá khứ và tương lai và chúng tôi sẽ kết thúc bồi thì kiếp nén à và hoàn toàn càng nóng nữ như là tìm hồ tài bản nha của các một nhân nông phát nông phát xuống từ những cái ngàn là chúng tôi như tâm những cái ngàn sự các công chủ và nên để chế tạo tăng tạo kết quả tạo phúc một công chủ có thể tạo phong mộng đang từ vui đến dò đồng chủ nhân nguyên tê đa hốc cờ dân đồng chú à viết các sử dụng các thần chú mạnh đề và nhân chú là dù phân chế đề tạo tăng cao cho tối trả trí ngắn tăng các đôn bông mùi nàng trái để làm cho viết hốc dễ dàng hơn tác chống bao dân chủ công chủ dân chủ công chủ tin chủ và dân chủ tin chủ và dân chủ và sử dụng phản hồi từ các công cụ AI để cải thiện và các thứ hành các mô hình này trong các đồ nhỏ học sinh có thể nâng cao kỹ năng ai cũng nhạo lắm cho việc học tiếng Anh cho nên thú vị và công trẻ. Today I got the feedback from AI about 45 sentences to teach to learn English easily better than before. And then the Point is followed by sentence is the pattern of English. So the group of the patterns about the noun and tenses and verb pattern and also the noun pattern, two noun patterns, the noun itself and also the describing noun. And uh, one thing is the adverbial patterns. These will make the sentence longer. And then if when we use the pattern of the English, and then we can uh, use it uh, easily, and then I can do that uh, better than before. And then we, uh, we use English using by 45 patterns. And then if we get familiar with the 45 sentence, and then we are, uh, when we get familiar with the 45 sentence, and then we can use uh, these uh, patterns uh, in English and then in normal life. The from the feedback from AI and then it gives me and then good way to do it. The feedback from AI gives me a specific uh, uh, clear point of what I'm talking about uh, in English, in grammar. And then if we try, we uh, use this report by sentence and without some uh, mistakes and then I mean that uh, make mistakes uh, less and then and uh, then and we are good at uh, English in terms of uh, some patterns of English and then uh, after then um, I read the thing bit in Vietnamese and then um, then I can understand about uh, how I approach it to the English with the uh, some English partners who learn English and who are who have native language as a Vietnamese ah Vietnamese as a native language. Then and I can um, language exchange doing language exchange uh, better and uh, using and uh, English and Vietnamese. I can use a forty five sentence to help people in uh -huh. And this time uh, I use this uh, pattern of some, and then I also, and then I 
every morning, early morning, every morning, early morning, I do um, practice with the voice typing in English and the Vietnamese. After doing then I listening on pages, writing, writing on pages, and then uh, these uh, day by day um, studying, the morning studying is very good for me, and then my good habit to, to improve English and Vietnamese. Uh, also with this uh, powerful trial, and then I when I do the online language changes, uh, I can jump up and then about uh, communicating with the English and the Chinese, and then also the Korean. Korean is not matter because every day I use Korean. Basically, it's a native language. It's a uh, very easy to anyone can be teaching. Uh, about in terms of only the practice uh, and the repeated repetition practices uh, can be also doing online language exchanges. So doing online language exchanges is a very easy part to communicate with people who want to learn the, any foreign language that is uh, accessible uh, nowadays uh, by using uh, high technology on the internet and then uh, the many, many apps company and give some uh, tools to use properly. Nowadays, the AI also uh, remarkably um, can be developed. So, and then just use it and simple, just use it. Uh, do it like that. That is uh, simply and how to improve your language skill by doing the line and change. Uh, this is very important. And then uh, never mind about uh, something and then make it right and wrong and then some this part is uh, and if you want to do right and then you can do you can keep doing and then you can in the end be successful i bet now i go for reviewing uh, only two pages from reviewing, copy, come back to chat GPT, and I say, please read my review. Voila. And then, uh, summary. Voila. Oh, very short. Translate. Uh, okay. I only get the um summary. But I'm gonna translate general. It's open. Today, I received feedback from AI on my method of using political standards speech English more effectively. The feedback indicates that using structured patterns, including those of pronouns and things, help to make learning easier and more efficient. The AI highlighted specific points to improve my explanation of English plan. Using these four by sentence patterns has significantly reduced my mistakes, allowing me to communicate, uh, communicate more clearly in English. Additionally, translating and practicing this method in Vietnamese has helped me understand my approach better. Every morning, I practice voice typing in English, then review my work by listening and writing down. This routine has been this routine has been beneficial for me, improving both my mood and my skills. Online language exchanges have also been valuable, providing opportunity to practice and refine my English with native speakers. The internet and various apps have made it easier to connect with people who want to learn and improve their language skills by constantly practicing and utilizing. These tools say anyone can enhance their communication ability, embrace the high tech research available today, and you will see significant improvement in your language skills. 
Remember the key to success is regular practice and not worrying about making mistakes. Keep it, get it, get it, and you will achieve your goal in learning English or any other living. It's very refined, refined from the living, uh, from feedback, uh, from AI, it's very refined. Um, I received the AI feedback for using 45 sentences to teach English more effectively. The structure pattern pronoun and key terms to make learns easier and to reduce make mistakes. Practicing voice typing in English and delivering my work, everyone has improved my skill. And online language exchange and high tech resources to help them connect with native speakers for better practice. Because don't you practice and not worrying about mistakes are key to improve the language. Ah, these are very good summary. Don't that. And doi da nyan duk pan hoi du ai ai ve vik sujun. Wong mi nam tao de jai king an chu pa hon. Tak mo hin tao ask jo dan chu pa chi yu de ho ye yan hon. Ba jam chu sai lan. Let tu han ye Young noi, bang tian, ba sem lai, dong vik yo toi, moi sa, ba kai tian vi nang po toi, kak jau ro nong mi, kak tian, kak tian, kak tuan, ba tai, nguin, kong nye, gao jip, ye noi, boi, nguin ba, nguin de tuk, han to ton, tuk han ju, dan ba kong yo lang, be sai lam la. Chỉ qua để tay trên gì nào nó nữa. Xong.